Hello there and welcome to All Is Dust. This is one of those nights where I didn't really feel like recording anything I'd normally play and was sifting through my Steam library and noticed that I had this game sitting around and from what I remember about the description it's some sort of horror game set in 1930s or 1931 or something like that in sort of the Dust Bowl period I think. I'm not entirely sure. I'll leave a link to the actual game in the video description if you want to get more information. Uh, I think it was free as far as I remember. I don't remember paying for it, but I do pick up random games on Steam sometime just to mess around with. Anyways, let's just get into it. I have been on a journey of custom. 28. I went primarily to see at first hand conditions in the Gulf states. To see how effectively federal and local authorities are taking care of pressing problems of relief, and also how they are to work together to defend the people of this country against the effects of future drought. Oh. My pa, his old man and me, we've been working this here field for a long time. It's been easy getting good crops years past. I tell you, us Jodes, we had the finest crops around here. But then this goddamn dust came through. By Christ, I ain't letting nothing take all this from me and my daughter. All right. Well, right off the bat, it sounds kind of like a forced accent. Not gonna complain, though. Okay. Well, the mouse sensitivity was really, really high when I was in the car there. I don't remember what the Steam reviews were like this were. I think they were kind of mixed. People had some technical complaints and complaints about it being too vague or something, so I have no idea what to expect. I know it's a horror game, I don't play a whole lot of those on my channel. Patricia's Drawing. Daily Newspaper, press F to investigate. May 15th, 1929, local girl 7, kidnapped, police agree. Typo, okay. Probably spell check if you're gonna release a game, just you know, minor thing. Door is locked. And this, uh, if you couldn't already tell, is a one of those Unity games. It is spooky. Uh, okay. Shift to sprint and follow the ghost. What? That's a ghost? It's not a power up? Uh, that's a, am I missing something? Why is that moving like that? Uh, moving, is that a bug? Or is that the ghost they're talking about? Okay. The well is missing the crank. Find the crank. Press M to look for the next location. So where am I? I'm over here. Way up there. <clears throat> go all the way up to the barn and go left down the path. Not gonna lie, this is a spooky kind of setting. I'm just, uh, just waiting for some sort of cheap jump scare to get me here. Uh, 
not gonna sprint everywhere, it seems. Not like the thing to do. Me. Um, kind of wigging me out how everything is. Uh, okay, now I was let me retract that what I was about to say. What the fuck is that? Is that supposed to be there? Why is the crank all the way up here? Why is there a kid drawing here? Well... So it turned into dust and then... came after me because all is dust <laughs> I mean don't do that is this one of those things where I gotta keep looking at you are you gonna move oh his head moved that's disconcerting I, uh, you have a problem with the light backing up like this but I don't know if it's a good idea to turn my back on El Diablo here I kind of have to though don't you come after me Gonna go ahead and guess that uh, they don't care about the light. Now I gotta go back to the well. Okay. Um, I feel like sprinting isn't going to uh, be beneficial in this case. Would you stop? I wonder if I can save. I can't even pause. I was gonna say, maybe I could save and see what happens if I try to go up to him and give him a nice big hug. He's gonna follow me, that's just how it is. My question now is, is there more than one? another picture I see his eyes um is that a missing texture or is that supposed to be there on that tree Patricia always thought this tree was haunted <clears throat> pardon me okay well I'm pretty sure everything out here is haunted. I'm curious, does it move when the lightning... Uh, who knows. I'm sure there he is. He's just following me around. F to attach the well crank. Would you just stop? Damn it. I'm stuck. Why? Well, F to crank the wheel. 
<sighs> Pick up Patricia's room key. Whoa, what the fuck? Okay, that was creepier than this thing. I just got sucked up into that f tree. Why you gotta look at me like that? Okay, then I'm just gonna go back over here if you don't mind, Mr. Uh, Exorcist Head. I don't know I have a front door. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> it really had to loop me in. And on a hot afternoon, some folks from down the road came and knocked on my door saying something about Jesus and the devil. Said they could fix my crops back to how they was. I told him I ain't got much to offer since the dust came. But goddamn if I ain't sick of watching my daughter starve. I asked him how much they'd sock me for it. They said nothing. So long as I'd work with them. Well hell, I'd work with anyone bound now. So they gave me this here book saying they'd come back as soon as I'd read it. Not sketchy at all. Good work. I mean, I done read that book like them guys said. Here's the th things moved. Okay. Well, where's Patricia? Patricia's doll. I bought this for, I, I bought this for Patricia from an old crow a few years past. <laughs> Sorry. Not gonna continue with that. Just pick up the page. Okay, I'm pressing F. Let me pay respects, come on. Uh did I already read that? Is that why I can't? Okay, well I... Uh, Front of the barn. Oh goody. Where is uh where's Super Meat Boy at? I'm sure he hasn't forgot about me, has he? Okay, let's go into the creepy barn. An empty barn. Oh, hey, there he is. What's up, man? Or is that the different part? Whatever. It's Something's gonna be at the top of the ladder. Nope, not yet. Beer PTSD. Well, I was close. I hear footsteps. Now you're gonna want me to go down. And then there's gonna be something at the bottom. Why did I come up here anyways? Next thing's out by the silos. Oh, fun. Here we go again. Hey, you don't have to moonwalk. Uh, 
Um, gonna let me pass ya, or I'm just gonna check my map, pardon me, buddy. I'm starting to think there's only one of these things. Probably gonna be really wrong. I know I should. <clears throat> I know I should probably be sprinting around. What the fuck? Don't do that. That's really rude. You know that. So am I gonna have to look at you the entire time? Why don't I have a shotgun? We're in like 19 Dust Bowl, Oklahoma. something or is that I don't remember actually I'm gonna have to read the uh, game description after I actually finish this it's been a while since I checked out what this is I can't tell if he gives a shit about the light or you know like every other cliche story horror story monster or I don't know well here I am what you want to bet something's gonna be at the top of the ladder. He's gonna be right here. Fragment two. Oh, there he is. That was close. What is up with the random placement of this guy sometimes? Don't cheap shot me when I come down the ladder. That's not fair. No, no, no. Son of a bitch. <coughs> well, <clears throat> there's two of them. Now I gotta go back down to the well area. Hi, guys. I hear more footsteps. Whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> I'm not sure if, uh... What do you think? Just... Mosey on past him? Walk backwards all the way down here? Or do you figure there's another one right behind me or something? game it's a little uh <clears throat> it's a little creepy in the sort of you know shit's about to go down but you don't really know when kind of way and they make it obvious shit's gonna go down but you don't really know where to whether to keep an eye on these guys or just uh go for it I feel like it might be even worse if I sprint, because then I might just run into something I don't want to run into faster. Get out of here. They are just creeping on me. I mean, I want to just turn around and go, but... Because now that I can't see them, they're just going to turn up behind me anyways. fire out here. Would you guys just leave me alone for a sec so I can check my map? You need to go out here. What is a broken wagon? No shit. Can 
hear that. Hi. If I get close to- you know what? If I get close to you or you're just gonna disappear in the dust? The minute I turn my back, you're gonna... Yeah, shit I gotta do, man. Hey! Stop it. What am I doing out here at this broken wagon? You and your boy need to get the F out of here. Don't you? Don't. Back off. Get him, crows. Fragment three. Get back to the house. What? Why am I uh, under the impression that's going to be easier said than done? <clears throat> okay, well, as far as I know, there's only three, so I'm just going to back off. Or, uh, there's only two, I mean. Get out of here. Alright. I was gonna say, maybe the thing to do is just to sprint and then intermittently flip around. My best question here is, why is this guy creeping around in the middle of the night? Why can't he just go to bed and wake up during daytime? And also, why does he not have a shotgun or something? <coughs> Excuse me, witch's book. Oh boy. Thaumaturgic Grimoire. On September 19th, or September 19th, 1692, 81-year-old Giles Corey lay beneath several rough, rough sawn boards piling high with rocks. I'm having a hard time reading this piled high with rocks. A tough old man, Giles had refused to testify on his own behalf in the Salem witchcraft trials. As another stone was added, his last words are believed to have been more weight. Something had gone terribly wrong. Why, in the summer months of 1692, was Giles Corey pressed to death? and 19 other Salem, Massachusetts residents hanged. Beginning in 1620 and continuing throughout the 1600s, a large number of English immigrants arrived in that part of North America known as New England. The leaders of these settlers were Puritans. Puritans were Protestant Christians who were unhappy with their mother church in England. They came to the New World so they could practice their Christi Christianity in its purest form. The New England landscapes and the Puritan belief system fit naturally, th naturally together. Both were stern taskmasters. The New England climate was harsh with cold, unforgiving winters. The New England sail was rocky and gave grudging soil was rocky and gave grudgingly of its corn, wheat, and leafy vegetables. Puritanism was equally demanding. Puritans believe in predestination, the idea that God elects before birth who will go to heaven and who will not. Puritans lived with the possibility that they were damned to hell. The Puritan ethic of hard work was partly an attempt <coughs> oh, pardon me, to prove to themselves and others that they were among the elect. Reasons for, perhaps for this reason, Puritans set a very high standard for themselves. In their own words, they were creating a city upon a hill, a model of right belief and good conduct for the world to follow. It was like living in a glass house. Every naughty word, every secret kiss, kiss, every angry gesture was there for God, if not the world, to hear and see. There was pressure in just being alive. To help guide them through this difficult life, Puritans turned to the Bible. Puritans were fundamentalists. They believed that every word in the Bible was the true word of God. But God was not the only supernatural power in the world. There was a darker force lurking in the wilderness. This force was the devil. 
also known as Sat also known as Satan. The devil was as sneaky as he was real. He could enter the body of a weak-willed person and recruit that person to become a witch. In more precise terms, a woman who made a pact with the devil was called a witch, a man was called a wizard. Once under Satan's power, the witcher wizard could cause all kinds of trouble, shipwrecks, Ill illnesses, or illness, even something. Throughout the 17th century England, which is something punishable by death because the stakes were something solid. Um, yeah, just a bunch of bullshit about how they persecuted people for hokey pokey. Um, okay, was that what I was here to read? <clears throat> I'm still in the house, what am I missing? Am I missing something outside? Combine all three pages. Read the story. I sat down and tried to give this book a reading. Use lots of big words, but I reckon something about cooking folks in iron pots. And no sooner than I finished her, did I hear a window break from Patricia's room. So I ran myself over there, opened the door, and saw some son of a bitch taking her out to the windmill. seen any people all I've seen is these oof fuck okay now I'm at the point where I think it doesn't really matter everything's on fucking fire okay so these things are no longer after me I know this game's kind of short maybe I'm oh you fuck I take it back now they're gonna be everywhere where am I going would you stop the windmill. Where is this windmill? <clears throat> okay, so from the back of the house? Somewhere out here. Oh, here we are. Stop it. Break the pot. What did I fuck up? I broke the pot. What do you want from me? Alright, this is the point where we stop caring about these damn things. We just, uh... Run out here and... Break shit, I guess. <laughs> Fuck off! What shit I'm trying to do, I'm stuck. Can't get in here. Oh, I'm fucked. I can't even move. You guys are just gonna have to go. Right. Uh-uh. I broke it. What the fuck do you want from me? Broke another one. Or not. What the hell? How am I supposed to get past this? <clears throat> I'm having trouble with clipping. Like, it's not letting me... Stop it. How many of these damn pots am I got to break? Is there another one? Uh uh. How do I break all these? Okay, I'm breaking the pots. So I, what, died in the beginning? Is that what they're trying to imply here?
Or what? Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm guess so that was all in my head. Some sort of you got fucked because you helped the cult or something. I'm not sure what the hell that was all about. Hmm. Well, interesting little game. I like the creepy setting in the 1929 Dust Bowl era. That was interesting. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, this was another uh, another entry into the random Steam Games playlist. And yeah, I guess that's it. So, see you guys later. Take it easy.